Hello everyone. In this video, we have solved this interesting maths Olympiad question. This question is square root a plus square root b is equal to square root 603. a, v is equal to what? How to solve this radical math question? It is an interesting maths. So let's start. Our question is square root a. Look, here is square root a plus square root v is equal to square root 603 yes now at this moment i can say here is square root a plus square root v is equal to square root look 603 i can say silly. it will be 9 times 67 9 times 67 it will be 603 okay now at this expression here is square root a plus square root v and in this case look square root 9 it will be 3 square root 9 it will be 3 and here is square root 67 now at this moment look here is square root 67 so i divide both sides square root 67 so in this expression i can say here is square root a divide square root 67 plus square root v divide square root 67 is equal to 3 square root 67 over square root 67 yes now at this moment i can easily uh, this this cancel and we'll find out here is square root a over square root 67 plus square root v over square root 67 is equal to 3 now look here is a square root this is a square root so i can see really this equation becomes square root a over 67 both are a square root and it will be square root b over 67 is equal to 3. so we'll find out square root a over 67 plus square root v over 67 is equal to 3. so at this moment let look here is a over 67 so we'll let a over 67 it will be x square and v over 67 it will be y square yes we will let both below is x square and y square so in this case i can say that it a is equal to this time this it will be 67 x square so we will find out here is a is equal to 67 x square and in this expression v is equal to 67 y square yes now look if i put this value in this expression so i can easily it will be square root look a over 67 it will be x square plus v over 67 it will be y square is equal to 3. then i can say easily x square root is cancel x square root is cancel we we'll find out here is x plus y is equal to 3. remember that when we will add this is equal to x squared and this is equal to y squared, this time x and y is always positive integer. Okay. So in this expression, x plus y is equal to 3. So uh, we will find out here is x and y. Look, if you think x is equal to 0, this time you can see easily y is equal to 3. Plus 0 plus 3, it will be 3. And if you think x is equal to 1, this time you can see easily y is equal to 2. 1 plus 2, it will be 3. And if you think uh, x is equal to 2, this time you can say easily y is equal to 1. And if you think x is equal to 3, then this time y is equal to 0. So we'll find out here is 3 case, sorry, 4 case. Uh, look, 0 plus 3, it will be 3. 1 plus 2, it will be 3. 2 plus 1, it will be 3. 3 plus 0, it will be 3. So look, but remember that x square we'll add a over 67 is equal to x square so we'll find out here is a is equal to 67 x square and v is equal to 67 y square yes now first of all if i take this value so i can see easily here is a is equal to 67 x square so 67 times 0 is square because of that here is x is equal to 0 so in this expression you can say easily a is equal to 67 yes now if you think uh, y is equal to 3 so i can say here is b is equal to 67 times y y it will be 3 square so 67 times 9 
it will be 603 so I can say here is a and V it will be look uh, it will be 0 sorry it will be 0 67 times 0 squared will be 0 so 0 6 0 3 this is the value of a V first case and if we take a uh, second case here is 1 2 look so 1 2 so in this case I can say really a is equal to 67x square and v is equal to 67y square so we take here is 1 2 so a is equal to 67 1 is square it will be 67 and v is equal to 67 y square it will be 2 squared so 67 times 4 it will be 2 6 8 so we are finding out here is a and v it will be 67 2 6 8 okay now if you take this value look if you take this value 2 1 so in this expression look I can say really uh, it will be a is equal to 67 x square and b is equal to 67 y square so a is equal to look if you think x is equal to 2 so 2 squared will be 4 4 times 67 it will be 2 6 8 and v is equal to if you think b y is equal to 1 so 1 is square will be 1 1 times 67 i can say it will be 67 so in this case we are find out a b is equal to 2 6 8 and 67 this is the value of a and v and other case we are find out it will be 3 0 so in this expression look uh, we are find out here is a is equal to 67 x square and v is equal to 67 y square look uh, if you think x is equal to 3 so 3 squared will be 9 67 times 3 square uh, it will be 9 9 times 67 i can say that it will be 6 0 3 so we'll find out here is a is equal to 6 0 3 but in this case b is equal to 67 y square y is equal to 0 so we'll find out it will be 0 so i can say that here is a and v it will be 6, 0, 3 and 0. So we'll find out here is 4 answer. Our first answer is uh, here is uh, A, V is equal to 67, 2, 6, 8. And our other answer is 67, 268, 67. And our other answer is 6, 0, 3. And here is 0. And we'll find out our first answer is here is A, V is equal to 0, 6, 0, 3. Thank you all. If you enjoyed this video, please subscribe my channel for other interesting video. Goodbye. Take care.